Anoxic brain injury is essentially the injury that occurs to the brain as a result of oxygen loss. The brain is the most oxygen dependent organ in the body. Other organs can last for quite some time without oxygen. The brain starts to lose function after only six minutes of oxygen deprivation. Anoxic injury to the brain can be the result of many different problems. It can be the result of a trauma to the brain. It can be a result of a problem with the heart where there's decreased blood flow to the brain. It can be a result of a drug overdose or near drowning. So there are many different ways that the brain can be injured. Anoxic brain injury, when presented to the system, can cause death if one does not reinvigorate the system with oxygen quickly. As a result of that, because remember, you're not giving the body its primary nutrient, oxygen. It's taken away. And as a result of that, the system will start to break down. Some of the things that a patient will experience when they have an anoxic brain injury will have memory loss, vision changes, fogginess, balance issues, fainting, just to name a few. Part of the way that hyperbaric oxygen therapy works with brain injury is by increasing oxygen supply to that damaged brain. When increasing that oxygen supply and having all the extra messaging that goes on with hyperbarics and hyperbaric free radicals, we're able to, to bring growth factor to an area. By bringing growth factor to an area, we grow new blood vessels. There is nerve repair that takes place under the high pressure environment. So damaged brain tissue begins to heal. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy can help to resupply the brain with oxygen. It does this through several mechanisms. One mechanism is to reduce inflammation in the brain. Inflammatory processes impede blood flow. It also can reduce swelling. But the primary ways that hyperbaric oxygen therapy can help anoxic brain injury is by the production of new blood vessels. The number of sessions that an individual will have for in regards to the condition that they present with is really dependent upon the diagnostic presentation. It might take 30, 40, 50, 60 hyperbaric sessions and we're monitoring and we're having them then advance back to where it needs to be. My patient will get to pressure in about seven to 10 minutes. They'll be at pressure for 60 minutes and effectively figure about an hour to an hour and a half. 